Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are, once again, playing Resident Rise. And, uh, so, I got a lot of things set up to craft here, and it's it's not even remotely close to everything I'm going to need. Uh, because I'm still trying to craft tons of these. Which, I can't help but feel that I'm crafting more than I need to, but... I uh, put up another redstone generator, and I've just kind of... I threw a stack of redstone in there to have it melt it down. But I've got some things set up and getting ready to go. I'm going to do as much as I can right now. Uh, this is going to be more than enough for the moment, but here's Fluix dust, which the nether quartz dust is just made from crushing nether quartz. I'm getting in all the other things as well, but eh, I made it in the crusher because that's what I have. So I'm going to make all of this. Okay. Now, we're going to need most of it in here, save for... Oh, right, right. I was going to say, why do I have extra? So, if we take the redstone diamond chipsets and combine them with fluix dust in silicon, we'll make ME advanced processors. Now, if you make it the, the other way, you have to make these first, and then you smelt them to get it. And I didn't feel like going through that process. I want to be able to instantly craft as many as possible right now. Which, as you can see, I don't quite have all of the processors I need at the moment. So I'm going to improvise. I'm going to throw these in here. And we're going to see how many I get out of this. I'm probably going to need to grab some more redstone. I am going to cut through a ton of Certus Quartz. Okay, there's one stack, and there's another stack, and I'm just going to throw these in here. I put extra quartz in here, but it'll be okay. So, I should have this counted out right, other than the fact that, yeah, I don't have enough chipsets for the current moment, but uh, now I should have... My plan was seven, so those go in there, those go in there, and, oh, I counted poorly, and unfortunately, I don't have things set up in a way where I moved all the chests, because I'm going to do these one at a time, so now I have to root through here and find the glowstone, and hope I have enough. Uh, who knows where it went? Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure I have, like, an entire stack in one of these. Ah, oh, there it is. It was probably right next to it, and I just didn't see it. So I guess I'll just throw pretty much all of this in here to see how far I can get. Ah, uh, six. Oh, that's my problem. No wonder it's so wrong. Uh, give me one more of these, please. Now, I'm not going to be able to make all of them, clearly, but get as far as I can. Oh, crap. I forgot iron, and it looks like probably the glass for that. Uh, there should be a good supply of iron in one of the diamond chests. I'll just grab three stacks. I don't need three stacks. I probably don't even need one stack. But I grabbed three stacks, because I'd rather be prepared. Grab some glass. So, I've got two. Uh, now, I did get some things set up. That is the wrong starting point. I at least got this part set up so we can make uh, eight conversion matrices. Now, we need seven of them in here to make our ME chests. Uh, we're going to need some ME cable, which is just fluix dust and glass. And then we're going to need the conversion matrix and a piece of ME cable. And that will get us our interface. And I already have the ME controller we found in a chest previously down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to make a wall of chests. I'm going to start by putting these two in. No, I didn't want you in there. Uh, the ME chests will gain their power straight from the controller. And now I can just put the rest of these in. Now, the cool thing about these is I can open them when they're even like that. Although I'm never going to be able to open that one in the bottom corner. 
But that's okay. Now I'll put this here, and with any luck, this should be able to get its power straight from the AE network. And I should be able to grab... Is this this? Yeah, that's that chest. I should be able to grab this and put it here. I made an extractor... Oh, why you no-go? I made an extractor mark 3 module, and I know that it should just be pooling, but it's not. Maybe I do, in fact, need to do that. Oh, no, no, no. I know what I'm doing wrong. It's the same reason why I couldn't get things in chests before. Yes! So, I don't really have a good way to view anything, and I have no idea which one of these it probably shoved those in. Well, it would have to be that one down there. Uh, I'll break this for a second. So, it's got roughly 20-some-odd slots left. Uh, I should be able to fit that in there. It's probably a bad idea to be putting all my resources and these things that I have a ton of all in the same chest. But I made a 64k storage, so it should last me... Oh, put those in there. I approve. I approve. Uh, actually, no, I want to start with... I want to do all the gold chests. Is it going to put any in here? Oh, good God. Uh... You know, I suppose I can leave them in there. It's got a lot of space. It should be fine. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. What? Oh, right, right. Zoom! I'm curious to see exactly how many iron bars I actually have. It's going to be absolutely insane. Are you empty already? Okay. So how much free space we got? Eh, quite a bit. Yeah, but I could... Uh, actually, there is something in that chest. I'd rather not put things that have durability in the chest. Because it's going to take up space and they're not going to stack and... They're going to be considered different things. And as you can see, I made the Dagger of Sacrifice. Although we might not get to that this time around. So is that everything durability-wise in there? It looks like it. So we'll throw these in here. And that should be good. So I'll pick this up, throw this down. I wonder why it's preferring to fill that first. It's strange. I probably don't have enough space for this, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, oh, I had just enough space for that, apparently. So, I've got that up there. I may have created a slight wiring predicament here. Hmm. Let's... Huh. Yeah. Uh, huh. I can move that to somewhere. I'm actually going to want it to be at least one over. Because I don't want that connecting. Uh, we don't need you. I just basically threw away 400,000 power. But it's okay. Don't need it. So now I should be able to take... I upgraded the provider pipes to Mark three. Oops. Uh, how am I going to deal with you? Can I... No... I know that I can pick up the fish tank with a cardboard box. So I'm going to move the fish tank to the other side of the thing. So then I'll be able to move this 
to here. The Extractor Mark III is just the Extractor Mark II with a red and diamond chipset, and then the Mark II is just a redstone golden chipset, and it pulls full stacks at a time, so that's very useful. Now, what I need to do is take the basic pipes, like so, and I'll just move it to right there. That should work. And I will put the provider here. I'm going to want this here, so that way I can actually feed back into the network. And I'm eventually going to be moving all of this out of the basement, but everything else isn't quite prepared yet. I was sitting here and I was like, no, why can't I see anything? There's a very good reason for that. Oh, God, I filled up my inventory. Oh. Uh, Ender pearls, chassis, remote order pipe. I got that shard off of a pigman. Like, he was walking around with it in his hand and was like, why do you have that? Basic pipes. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Put this back. Jump down. The two shale back where they belong. I'm not sure I like the shale. I may switch that out, but we'll see what happens on that one. Put the ME chest back. Uh, let's have a look what we got here. 12. Now, the question is, which one did I not have enough of? Was it here? Yeah, I didn't have enough of those in there, so I'll pull these out. No, not there. Make some more of these. 12 more. Good. Four more. One more. And 64k storage. So I should be able to dump 64 more items into the network. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Okay. I'm going to put that one... Those... That doesn't need to be there, and for sake of consistency, I don't want that connecting. Now, I can shove you in there. Now I should be able to pick up another one of these, like so, plop it down. And I should be able to fit another chest in. Uh, that's a bad idea. That's... Maybe not going to fit... Uh, we'll put you in. Uh, I ended up with things with durability like I didn't want. Uh, some of these things can stay. But the general things that I know I'm not going to want in there, like these. Uh, actually, the statue's hammer can go back in there. So, how much space do I have left? A little over 18? Uh, that's not going to entirely fit, but I should be able to leave it here. Did it all fit? Huh. Fine. Wanna play that game? Have another one. Oh, that's gonna cause problems. Oh, please tell me I have enough. I need to get another thing going. Because I don't know what's gonna happen if I leave that sit like that too long. Three, one, crap. I need one more of these, which means I need one more of these. Uh, this is taking longer than I wanted it to. Hurry up. I considered making more lasers, and then I realized I don't have any more obsidian. Where did they go? Did they... Where do they... Where do they go? Why are you there? I think I may have accidentally just deleted some things. Because I'm not sure where they went or how they work. 
And I can interface with these directly because they're chests, so I'm actually okay with that. Uh, this is probably going to need a whole 63 storage to hold it. And the rest of these, who knows what's going to happen. Hmm. I have no idea where those items could have possibly went, because there's not enough space in any of these. Not to my knowledge. Please tell me you finished. For all I know, they could have vanished, though. I sure hope they didn't, but they could have. One more 64k storage. Now, I decided how many I was going to need based on the amount of pages that was in the logistics network. But I, I think those items might be gone. Uh, I'm actually going to go with... I, I actually just did what I didn't want to. This is exactly the chest full of things that I didn't want in there. I already screwed up horribly and I'm wasting time. Uh... No, no. Let's just place this down. Drop a bunch of stuff out of my inventory. Come back to these things later. I just want to be able to clear this out. Luckily, I can just click on the first one to get everything back out. Okay. Now, I wish to take this. Okay. And this. These are going to be the things that are getting cleared out of down below. Uh, I must have had some of these things already in my network because... That's not overflowing into that as I thought it would. Hmm. I'm okay with this. Things that I want. These, these. Uh, yes. I'll get back to and I'll deal with those things later. I'll just leave you right there. Is there anything else I need actively here? It doesn't look like it. Uh... I don't know which of these mob spawners is which, but there should be some tile entity barrel. What is this barrel that I seem to have forgotten about? What? No. Oh. Oh. Uh. You know what? You can go in the network. Oops. I just fed the network my torches. Give me back those, please. So I can pick that up now. And I'll throw that in there. Uh, I'll actually put that cardboard box in the empty one up top. Or, well, the cardboard box thing filled with cardboard boxes. Oh, I remember what I was going to do now. Uh, do I have my rubber in here at all? I do. And then I should have the iron and hopefully some... Oh, redstone? Good, good. So, what I want to make is I want to make, not you, some conveyors. Uh, two crafts should be enough. There we go. And I don't need the Java thing at the moment. I'm probably going to want... Yeah, 61 should do. Well, it's night time. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll do it this way. I want to get some more work on the blood magic thing over there done. I set up a little bit, but I need to get these set up. What? Uh, eh. There we go. All paths lead in. Not really being the most efficient thing here, but... This is a very tight, constrained location to be setting these up. 
Now, these used to move players, but uh, have since been apparently changed. Oh, good thing I made uh, two sets, because I have eight left. So what I should be able to do now... So if I place that there, and I'll place that there... You are not the spawner I was looking for. What about you? No, you're also not the spawner I was looking for. Crap. I thought there was going to be the zombie spawners. I made a mistake. Uh, I still have 20,000 LP in my network, so we're good there. Uh, these guys need to go back... Actually, let's see if the sort feature on this functions. Spawn? I don't... I don't know if I can actively search for them, to be honest. Oh, I can. It just... Uh, oh, I opened it up too quickly and I never clicked refresh. Okay, let's just grab these. And... Uh, I'm gonna want... Item collector... I hate to blow... Oh, I don't have any obsidian. Crap. Oh, actually, in this situation, it shouldn't be an issue. Due to the way I'm setting this up. Wrong way. Yes, yes, I'm aware. So, what I want to do is... I didn't mean to actually place that many. I'll place one in each corner, but I want the zombies, because... Oh, good. In the current situation... No. Sorry. Not spider. Uh, oh, okay. What about you? I don't know which is which. I really don't want skeletons at the moment either, thanks. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just set down all the spawners. Oh, that's an empty box. No! Your skeleton. You go away. You are zombie. You stay. You are spider. You go away. You are skeleton. So you're also going to go away. You are spider. And you are skeleton. So. I have two zombie spawners then. And for the sake of good positioning, I want them on opposite sides. Ugh. And let's see if I can't... There we go. Ooh. Ow. So if I box this up, hopefully that'll have enough l lack of light. Because obviously I want things to spawn in there. Are they going to spawn? I hear a spider, but that has nothing to do with the box. With the mob spawners in it. Are they going to spawn? Do I need to make it one higher? I might need to make it one higher. Uh, the reasoning why it probably needs to be one higher is I believe that the conveyor belts don't count as a spawnable surface. But mobs can spawn in the air with a regular vanilla mob spawner. Which means that I probably need to raise this one more so they can spawn off the ground.
That is my theory, anyhow. Now... Although it might just not let them spawn at all because conveyors. If that's the case, I believe the other conveyor belts in the mod pack uh, won't have that issue. Not sure, though. What? Oh, pain. Oh, good, they're spawning. Wonderful. So now what I can do, they can't move, as you can see. And if we check the altar, 750. Killed two of them. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Now, if I check this, we should be at, I believe, 2750. Or 1750? Oh, right, right. These mobs are only worth 500. Uh, villagers are worth 1,000, but that's just bad for you. So, as you can see, it one hits them, and it doesn't care if they're wearing armor. And adds their blood into that. So, uh, what I'm probably going to do is get some runes made between episodes. We'll focus more on blood magic next time. Uh, I'm going to come down here, see how many of these are made. Eleven. That might be enough to get us a couple more. Oops, wrong one. Uh, the thing is, I can't really overuse them because I end up in this situation where I become reliant on the amount of these remaining. So I put these here, two more, put these here, and that's it. So, yeah, I'm going to need four more before I continue on with that. But uh, what I'm probably going to do is... I actually haven't tested if my idea for here is going to work. I don't see why it wouldn't. But there's going to be some other parts of the mechanicals going on with it. No, 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 no. Most of the things for it I should actually be able to do using the mod itself. So that should prevent any kind of incompatibilities or anything. So, eh, we'll see what happens. That's not going to be this time, though. I want to get some more areas cleared out down here. So that way I'm actually prepared to move stuff down. This is the general idea. I'm going to send tunnels out in different directions. And then I'm also going to have multiple layers. With the bottom layer most likely being things. And then I plan to do some trickery wiring as well. But the reason for that be a little bit more... It'll make more sense. Uh, I'll probably see if I can't organize these spawners at some point as well, so I can tell which are which. But, yeah, I have a lot of waiting to do on these still. But that's pretty much how that's going to work. The provider can pull out full stacks. The extractor Mark III can handle full stacks. All I need to do... I'm going to come up here. I believe I have Vulcanite. I'm going to need 10 of these. Oh, right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Then you just make them all. And, oh, once again, lacking obsidian. So, since I don't have the obsidian, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... Now, I'm only going to make one. If you've seen other people do this with logistics pipes, they'll have two bags. I have a different plan, and I don't want to overcraft. So I'm going to make an ender chest and an accompanying ender pouch uh, between episodes. And I'm basically going to take the remote orderer, which, who knows where I put the actual thing itself. You know, it might actually be down here in the chest filled with crap. No. I have no idea where I put it now. 
But I'll figure out where I put my remote orderer between episodes as well. But what I'll do is I'll set this up, say, here. Right? This is the remote order logistics pipe. I'll put the ender chest here, and I'll carry an ender pouch, and then what I'll be able to do is open up the re orderer and request things anywhere. I, I desperately need to get obsidian, though, so I'm probably going to start... Uh, I'm probably going to pump in lava from somewhere. I might see... I might hollow this out down further... Or for a temporary purpose, make like a staircase down and look for lava down there. Or I might just do it manually. Uh, right before I finish this, I want to show one more thing though. There's a bit of an issue I found with the titanium bucket. And I forgot to ask the mod maker if it was intentional. No. Oh, it must be fixed. Because I had an issue with it before. Uh, a good representation of the issue I had is floating over here in the air. I accidentally placed it while going around in the boat. And as you can see, it's not moving. Yeah, look. It's not updating. Uh, some things do. It appears water does not. And I don't quite understand why that is. It sounds like it's placing a block, but if you place a block in creative mode, like a thing of water, it will. But if you place just a still source, I believe it won't move. What the heck's going on there? That's weird. I have no idea how to empty this now. Here's my plan. That plan didn't work quite as I had expected. Because there's still water in it. But the bucket's very useful, still. But the fact that it doesn't update properly causes as many issues as it resolves, in my opinion. So... I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to throw the mob spawners in here. I'm actually going to reclaim these ones as well. That is a lot of mob spawners. That chocolate quest dungeon was ridiculous. And I still haven't done anything about this one, really. You can see I had built a fish tank over there because I was near the ocean biome when I was screwing around with fish. But We're going to go over there and we're going to deal with that eventually, or I might do it off camera. And I haven't done anything there either. So, I'm going to... Well, first of all, I'm going to grab anything in here that has a durability bar. Is that everything? Yeah. Oh, no it's not. So, I'll get with... The, uh, I'll deal with these things off camera. And when we pick up next time, we're going to upgrade the altar because I want to get some rituals going, and that's pretty much the best way. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.